Hey there, it's Jen, and I am here to share a hybrid uh, layout process with you using the Allie Edwards February Digital Kit. Each month this year, Allie's releasing a digital kit that's similar to her story kits in that it has um, embellishments and stamps and uh, cards, but everything's digital and it's only available digitally. And the February kit is really cute. It's kind of got a love theme to it. And I wanted to show you how I'm going to use it to create a hybrid layout. So I thought because today is Valentine's Day, this video should be going up today. So you should be seeing this on Valentine's Day if you're watching it the day that I created it. But I thought it would be nice to create a layout about uh, loving myself because I feel like that's something that a lot of us struggle with, myself included, and I felt like it was a good time for me to create a layout about that, uh, about uh, loving myself as a good reminder that, you know, I'm worth that love and and everybody deserves to, to have that love for themselves. And so I wanted to kind of write out a list of some, some reasons why I'm awesome, <laughs> why I love myself, why, why that's okay, why I'm worth that. And so I'm using this photo of me and I'm going to print it at eight by 12. I've already cropped it to that size. And if you have a standard printer, you can print at eight by 12. You just need to, if it, if your printer can do eight and a half by 11, you just need to change the margin settings to 12 instead of um, 11. And then you can print it. No problem. You just need to use larger paper, obviously. So I'm going to print that photo and I want to create a title that I'm actually going to cut out on my silhouette, but I'm going to use this Allie Edwards Love uh, stamp. It's from the digital stamp set that's included in the kit, but I want to make it have a pattern on it. And there are a couple of cards in the kit with patterns on them. There's this one with the hearts and this one with the polka dots. And I thought about doing the hearts, but it ended up being a little bit too busy, so I'm not going to use that one. What I'm going to do is use this polka dot one. And so what I'm going to do is create a clipping mask so that the word love is filled with these polka dots. So it's super easy to do. I have my my different uh, things all in different windows. If you need to, if your screen doesn't look like this, then what you can do is go to window, arrange, and then choose float all in windows. And that will make it so that all of these little windows are floating around and you can move things easily and drag things to other windows. And so that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the polka dots and drag it to this window. And they're already sized about right. So um, what I want to do now, I'm going to just minimize this here move this out of the way. I need to see my layers palette over here. So you can see that I have one layer that's the word love and one layer that's the polka dots. And so what you do to create a clipping mask so that the word love is filled with the dots is you hold down the option or alt key depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. And then if you go in on the line in between the layers, you'll see that there's a little arrow with a box. And if you click, then you can now see that the word love is filled with those polka dots. So whatever you place on top is what will fill in the shape below. It kind of cuts it out. So, uh, and then you can go ahead and move this around so that you get the dots in just the right spot that you want, or you can make the dots bigger or smaller. Of course, you can only go so small uh, because then the black will start showing. But I'm just gonna arrange this to where I, I like where kind of the, where the dot pattern is and then click the checkbox. And now I have this word love. Now in order to cut this out on my silhouette, um, I'm going to save this to my desktop as a PNG. And I also know that I want to cut this little piece of, um, this is a digital uh, chipboard piece that says lots of love. I want to use this as well. Um, and I want to cut this out on my silhouette too. Now, just because I already know um, I'm going to need to trace the shape in order to cut it out, this shape has a white outline and the silhouette's not going to recognize the white. And so I won't be able to get this same shape. So what I'm going to do to this shape is I'm going to turn it dark uh, to create my, my uh, heart that I'm going to trace. And then I'll just open this file and then line them up. I'll show you that here in just a second. So what I'm going to do to this this image though, actually let's just fill it with black. So image or edit fill. Oops, 
not the background color or the foreground. We want the foreground color, not the background color. Okay, so now I have this black heart. I'm gonna save that on my desktop as well, and I will just save it as black heart. And it's saving as a PNG, which is what I want. And now I'm gonna go to my Silhouette software, and you can see that I've already, I was testing out the tracing on this Lots of Love. Um, so I already have that open here. So now I have the word love, and I have this little heart. Now I need to just open that black heart that I, created. So I've got it on my desktop there. And it's going to be the same size as the other one. In fact, it opens everything in a new window. So I'm just going to cut and copy it over here. So you can see that's the right size, which is what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the black heart. So you go to your trace window, choose select trace area, and then you just drag the window over your shape. Now, usually you need to unclick high pass filter in order for it to include the entire shape, which is what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on trace. And now I can get rid of the black heart and I'll line these two hearts up together. And you can zoom in if you need to, to just make sure that's going to cut out correctly. And that looks good to me. What I'm gonna do is group these so that I don't mess it up. Um, and then I'm going to cut and paste that over onto this uh, file with the word love. Now I can see how big I want this. Now I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is cut this out to go in the O. So I'm going to size it down. And I can rotate it so I can see if that's going to work. I think I might like that, but if not, I'll just put it off to the side. So I'm going to keep it this size. I'm gonna just make it the teeniest bit bigger. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and trace the word love. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Go to select trace area, scroll over the top of it. Now this is a much lighter color. And so when I unclick high pass filter, nothing's included. What I need to do is up the threshold. The threshold tells you how um, how dark of colors to include. And so when you up the threshold, lighter colors will be included in the trace. So I'm gonna keep upping the threshold until the, until the shape is filled. And on this one, you can just up it all the way. And then I'm gonna click on trace. So now you can see I've got the outline of that shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and group these together. So now I have the word love and I have this lots of love that I can go ahead and print and cut. So in order to do a print and cut, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna print this on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'm gonna to go to my page settings window and change it to letter size paper. And then I'm going to go to the registration marks and I'm going to turn them on. And this is going to print little marks so that when I cut this out on my silhouette, it knows where to cut. Uh, and so I've got that. Oops, let's put this. Let's put this here. And we'll put this here. And I'll just click, oops. Now, <laughs> this shape is large for some reason. You can see the bounding box is going larger than I want it to. I'm going to copy this lots of love. You can copy really quickly by bush clicking option and then dragging a copy off with your mouse. I'm gonna print this three times just in case I want to use more than one. Okay, so now I have the word love. I have those three hearts. I can print this out and cut it with my silhouette. And I'm also, I've also got my photo that I'm going to print. And then back in Photoshop, I also have created a four by 12 canvas where I'm gonna type up my journaling. I'm gonna put this little XO at the bottom and I'm not gonna make it fill the whole thing. I want it to be a little smaller, but I do want it be, to be centered and towards the bottom and I'll sign my name underneath it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type up my journaling on here and then print and cut all of those things out and I'll come back and show you how I'm going to put this layout together really quickly. Okay, so I've got my stuff print and cut out and the first thing I just wanna say is holy wow, that's a big face. <laughs> that's like a life-size photo of my head, which is kind of hilarious, but I think it's fitting for this layout about talking about loving yourself and so I'm gonna keep it 
even though this, I seriously, I think I could stick this in front of my face and it would, <laughs> it would be the same size as my head. Um, the other thing is I printed off my journaling and I printed it on a light pink cardstock and I just wanted to read it to you as an idea for a way that you could do journaling. Um, I started each sentence, I'm going to go, go ahead and put this on autofocus and bring it closer so that you can see it, but I started each sentence with um, something that I am, that I want to tell myself that I am. So it says, Dear Jen, you are amazing. Did you know that? I know that you have been a little down on yourself lately. You should know that you are talented and creative and kind, and each day you try your best, and that's amazing. So at the end of each paragraph, I tie it back to the beginning. So I say what I am, did you know that, and then at the end, something about that word again. You are beautiful. Did you know that? It's true. Some days you may feel frumpy and look like you went through a wind tunnel, but you are beautiful. You have expressive eyes that show your soul. You would do anything for the people you love, and that makes you beautiful. You are strong. Did you know that? On your hardest days, you push through. You come out still standing. And those people I keep talking about, the ones that love you and you love them, you bring them strength through service, kind words, and thoughtful gestures. That is true strength. You are enough. Did you know that? There are probably a million... Oh, there are things that you wish you could do better. Probably a million things. But I think you're doing the best you can with the tools you've been given. All those times when you feel like you've failed, you haven't. Because you keep trying and that's enough. You are loved. Did you know that? You have a wonderful husband who tries to, his best to make you happy and understand you. You have a lovely daughter who forgives all your shortcomings and shows you unconditional love. You have a best friend who would walk to the ends of the earth for you, and you know what? They love you because you show them love and because you're worth it. And even though I may not always show it, I love you too. Yes, you are loved. So I just wanted to, to read that to you as a way that you could maybe write a love letter to yourself or to somebody else about the reasons why that, that why they're loved. Um, and so that is where I'm going with that. I did misspell the word unconditional in here, but I'm just going to let it go because I don't want to reprint this. I printed it on cardstock. And so, um, you know, I don't want to worry about it. You can barely, I mean, I barely noticed it. So one thing is that my photo printed with a border on it, which I thought it was going to print to the ends of the page which is my own error for not knowing my printer settings. So I'm going to mount this on some white cardstock. So I just cut the cardstock piece down as well so that I can have just a thin white border around the entire thing, which is fine. And then here are the, the things that I print and cut on the silhouette. So the little XO I was thinking could go here. And I decided instead of printing this on the page that I would go ahead and and cut it out. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want, how, how exactly I'm going to use that. Um, because I thought originally that I would do XO and then write my name, but I'm thinking now it might just be cute to just write my name down here, so not sure about that. Uh, here's the word love. And what I wanted to do with this one is I'm going to do um, love you. And I was thinking I could put this in the center if I wanted to. Um, I left some space here because I thought I might overlap it like this. And maybe I still will. I kind of like that. Um, and then I cut extra ones of these because I wasn't sure if I would want to use more than one. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure that I don't. Um... Maybe I'll put something here to embellish uh, and then write the word. I'll, I'll move this over a little bit. Maybe that will cut down the V and put the word you right here. Um, and then I will come back and show you what I figure out. Okay, so I decided to write the word letter or you. I haven't decided which one I want yet. I'm thinking letter um, on some vellum with I, I used a brush pen from Kuretake, and I also used a Pentel color brush in black. And I'm not sure if I want the larger one or the smaller one, so I'm going to cut around both of those. And I decided that I would stamp the date over here in this space. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cut that out and see which one I want to use. I think I'm just going to write down here with a black Sharpie, maybe, or something. Um, just write Love Jen. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Let's just do it. Um, I'm going to practice first, actually. 
So here's some scrap paper. So I think I'm just going to do something like I wanted it to be bigger than that. I don't think it will look right if I put the XO on here. I'm kind of thinking that the XO isn't going to make it, unfortunately. That's good enough. Okay, so there might need to be something under here too. So maybe actually that's where the date should go, is down here. And then something else to go over here with the word love. So I'll see what I can find to go here. I think I decided what I want to do, so I'm just gonna glue every, start gluing everything down. So I'll start with my photo and just kind of center it so that there's an equal amount of distance on the top and the sides. And then my journaling. And I'll do the same for this. And it will overlap the photo just a little bit. I just didn't want to cut it down, so it's just easier for me to do it that way, the lazy way. Okay, and then I did outline the word love. I started outlining the heart but realized I didn't need to because this heart's gonna go over the top of it. So I need to put this up on some foam. I'm just going to use this let these kind of leftover bits right here. Let's see if that fits on there. Okay, and then that will go in the center of my heart there. And I decided to go with the thinner script so that it matched the gen down at the bottom and I'm going to instead of putting it below it like this, which I was planning to do, um I decided I wanted to use some of these Maggie Holmes flowers. This is from her newest collection and just to fill the space and I love florals so um, I thought it would be nice and I'm going to pop this one up and I might pop this one up too. I think I'll just pop them all up. So that will go here and I kind of wanted to make it so that the floral kind of nests around the my name there. Now so I was thinking I could put the love letter right here and then I can stamp the date right here. I'm gonna use this Ellie Studio stamp set because it has huge, like a huge uh, number, or it's like a huge date set. And it does have this little square that you can stamp around it, but I didn't want it to be that square. I want it to be more free. And so I'm just gonna stamp today's date, which is February 14th, 2017. And I'm gonna test it. So I'm gonna use the Ellie Edwards Black Butte ink, I think, or I might use Olympia. So I'm going to test it on some scratch paper because since this is a white background, then I can just hold it up to it and see which one I like better. So here's some, here's some scratch paper. Let's start with the Olympia and see what that looks like. I really like that. Okay, now I gotta. I have to test the black too because the black might be just the amount of contrast that I need. We have the black. Goodness, I cannot decide. I kind of like the the weight of the black. Oh, I like the way that the uh, the Olympia brings in kind of the green from the flowers. I think I'll go with the black, and I'm just gonna go for it. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but that looks pretty good. So that will be good. And I'll just go ahead and glue down these other things and get them popped up. And then I think I might add, I have some some stickers, some little heart stickers that I might add that are from the Target dollar spot. And so I might add those. They're just these right here. So. Let me just glue this stuff down and then I'll see if I'm going to add anything else. Okay, so I decided I could get the best of both worlds up here with the inks. I'm going to use the Olympia Stamping Ink to stamp So Much Love, which is from the Allie Edwards, this little roller stamp that she has. And so I'm going to test it just to make sure that I know, you know, the pressure that it needs or whatever. I, I like to use scratch paper or scrap paper for that quite often. Um, 
So looks like I need to kind of rock it back and forth just a little bit. And I'm just going to stamp that right below my title. There we go. Or not my title, my date. So now I have a little bit of, of the green in the middle as well. So I just really quickly wanted to see what it would look like if I wanted to add any of these uh, cute little puffy stickers. And it looks like I'm going to have to cut these open. Goodness, making it hard for me. I kind of like the idea of adding in this, another pop of this bright pink. And then I have one, two, three hearts. I kind of like that. I decided to add two more hearts and that's going to call this one finished. I really encourage you to try a layout like this where you write um, some kind words about yourself. Give yourself a little love. Uh, if you have a hard time thinking of these kinds of things, which it can be hard, I understand that struggle, uh, think about maybe asking a loved one to or a friend to write something that they love about you. I think it's just a really good exercise to know, you know, what's lovable about you and that you're worth that love um, and and for you to look back on maybe when you're having a hard time you can be like hey I'm awesome this is why and so I encourage you to try something like this uh, you don't have to use a, a life-size selfie like I did but uh, try something like this on your next layout if you you know if if that's something that interests you or that you think would help you the way it's helped me. So um, you can check out these products in Allie's shop that I printed out here. And I'm going to come back tomorrow with another process video in my 6x8 Project Life that's going to show you um, a different way to use some of these digital elements from the kit. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.